Welcome to Weekly Digest, where we highlight the works of ministers of government as they push the administration's development agenda. Three years after Guyana recorded its first COVID-19 case, the country is in a better place in managing the spread of the disease. At this point, I think we are in a very good place. Uh, we have seen a reduction of cases. We have seen um, less hospitalization. And we are not seeing people with very severe COVID. Now, those that do come in, we want to make sure that whatever treatment they need, that they can get. And um, that is something that we have been uh, constantly working on. Guyana's capacity to protect its citizens from COVID-19 has been enhanced after receiving 5,040 Paxlovid pills from UNICEF. Anyone who has been infected with COVID-19 can receive the pill, which will be distributed in all regions. How these uh, medications work, it's, it's really an antiviral medication. And as you know, SARS-CoV-2 is a virus. And so it, at critical points in the life cycle of the virus, it would uh, it interrupt uh, that life cycle and by doing so, uh, prevent the virus from replicating. And it has been quite effective in doing so. So most people who uh, use this medication actually saw a reduction in the time uh, that they spent and even if they were very symptomatic, you would see that change quite rapidly. Meanwhile, the National Ophthalmology Hospital in Port Morant, Region 6, has been leading the way in providing eye care as over 1,500 surgeries have been conducted in 2022. Guyana will soon receive the remaining flock of black belly sheep from Barbados. This was relayed by Minister of Agriculture Zulfikar Mustafa as he reminded that government remains committed to advancing the livestock subsector. So I'm hoping by the end of this month, early next month, we can have all the other um, the balance of the sheep coming into um, to, um, the country. Government received over $150 million worth of vehicles and vessels to strengthen its agriculture extension system in regions 2 to 6 and 10. The assets were given by the Sustainable Agriculture Development Program of the Inter-American Development Bank. I want to, first of all, extend our appreciation and thanks to the IDB in partnering with the government of Guyana, the Ministry of Agriculture, in making these equipment available to us. Because when the agriculture sector, when we are seeing these kinds of expanding and improvement in the agriculture sector, then our responsibilities become more and more serious. We have to take it. And that is why our extension officers have a critical role to play. To advance infrastructural works in the agriculture sector, $1.8 billion in contracts were signed. As we are improving the DNI aspect, the drainage and irrigation aspect, the flood risk management aspect of our country, we are seeing more and more development, especially in the agriculture sector will aid us in the East Coast. Guyana is set to become a central hub in the Caribbean and the South America with government investments. Public Works Minister Bishop Juan Agil made these statements at the launch of a CS World Cargo, a supply chain and a logistics company. We might not believe it now, but that doesn't mean it wouldn't happen. It's happening before our very eyes. We have to build out the physical infrastructure to facilitate that. But we also have to be able to build out the technological and other infrastructure to support that. And supply chain, chain management and logistics are very, very, very important. Ministers of Public Works, Bishop Juan Agil and Deodat Indar, on Wednesday engaged the contractors of various ongoing infrastructural projects in Region 3. During the meeting, the ministers mandated timely completion of these projects. Also, construction works on the $413 million Leguan Stelling are well underway. It's a marked improvement 
of what was happening here. So basically, we have started to see light at the end of the tunnel. As promised, the first batch of 52 persons received the vouchers to start their home construction under the Cement and Steel Subsidy Initiative. This was done when the Central Housing and Planning Authority conducted an outreach in Anna Regina, Region 2. Those constructing homes worth $6 million or less are receiving one sling of cement and the required steel for the foundation, while those spending between $6 million to $25 million are receiving two slings of cement. The Monrepo Primary School Library has been commissioned and will also be serving the entire community. Education Minister Priya Manikchand said the facility will inspire learning among all age groups. It's a very simple ceremony to do something that is very meaningful here in the, and I want to go way past the Monrepo Primary School and say in the Monrepo community. Because for me, this must be a service open, um, even as we protect the school and its uh, environs, to the entire community. The Board of Industrial Training, BIT, continues to empower Guyanese by providing skills training programs countrywide. Hundreds of persons have graduated over the past week with various technical skills. We want to be sure that going forward, any equipment, whether government or private sector, you have a problem, we have people in the region who can fix it. Forty residents from various communities in Region 1, Barima Waini, are participating in the Train the Trainer ICT program. At all the opportunities that exist on the coast and in Region 4, wherever people live in Guyana, they will participate in those opportunities. And that, that is what this, this is all about here. Uh, keeping a commitment to the people of Region 1. The Guyana Prison Service will continue the Fresh Start initiative that will see inmates being supported to reintegrate into society. We have to go through issues of giving second chances in the prison system, which is why we're talking about putting in a new school at Lusignan. For the new prison complex, as was said, there's going to be a school, not only in the vocational school, but to make up for the deficit in formal education that some people have missed by not having opportunity, not paying attention, perhaps being too hungry in the school, whatever it is. And when we look at some of the issues and we look, when we look at the prison system and the inmates, we see all of the hand in there. We see each and every one of us in there. Meanwhile, the new Guyana Fire Service headquarters is being checked for possible defects as the facility nears completion. Inspection, they've given the key and the engineers will walk through the building now that they have the keys. And any defects which they will resolve one way or the other will be identified and dealt with. And that's it for this edition of Weekly Digest. For these and other government-related information, do log on to our website dpi.gov.gy and our social media platforms as well. Goodbye.